if you're an agency owner, if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, or you work in the B2B area, you're going to want to listen up because I'm going to break down Eddie's exact strategy on how he's able to hit 200K plus per month with his full business system and how you can implement this into your business. Now, I'm going to give you examples on exactly how to do this and break down absolutely everything for you. So if you're wanting to 2 to 10x your business, then listen up. So, and I found an interesting stat that it's that 9.5% of the year is done. So if you're not happy with currently where your business is at, then listen up because I'm about to change a whole business paradigm. So <clears throat> Eddie is able to acquire a huge amount of attention on his short form platform. So TikTok and uh, Instagram, and you're like, no shit, we know we need attention but he's doing something very different to what a lot of us are actually doing. So he's able to acquire this attention. Then he's funneling these people over into his YouTube channel where he's able to further nurture you guys. So he's able to grab attention, obviously on short form. Then he's able to nurture people through his YouTube content. Then he's pushing you through to his own. He owns your attention. Now I'm going to get into this as well as nurtures you through a group, then into a sales process. Now, if you're like, yeah, I know that, well, I'm gonna break down exactly what he's able to do at scale. And if you like this content and you are interested, feel free to jump in my free community. You just need your name, email, and um, I think that's about it. And join the free community where we're talking all about systems and how we can use as much leverage in our business as possible. But let's continue. So he's able to take a cold prospect that has never heard of him all the way through to a sales process without having to communicate with them at all. And you're like, wow, yes. So if you're doing cold outreach or DMing or cold emailing, well, this is a really clunky way of doing it. What he's able to do is, you know, when you go from your first cold outreach to then your email follow up or, you know, your DM sequence or this or that, then into maybe a free product or something, and then finally into a sale. But the whole thing is Eddie's able to do this all at scale without having to have a conversation with anyone here. The key thing here is scale. <clears throat> And then what he does, once he's nurtured you and you've, he's, you know, you know, you like him and trust him, then he's able to push you towards his free, um, his free lead magnets that he runs a class every single week. Now he's able to reduce skepticism and he's, you know, he doesn't have to use high pressure sales because he's already done all the upfront work on his other platforms. Then, you know, these guys are already pre-sold and he's able to charge a lot more than what your you know, his competitors are able to do. So as I said, now he's converted his attention that he currently has on these platforms into owned attention. So this is where we're able to collect name, email and number. And then what he does is he's able to have one sales call a week with a thousand people compared to how, you know, I used to operate and how a lot of people, other people operate is that have one sales call with one person. And you know, if that person doesn't end up converting, then you've lost. Um, but the, he's able to, have, as I said, have one sales conversation with a thousand people at one single time and convert a huge amount of people. So <clears throat> now there's a given rule that people need to consume about seven hours of your content content or have seven hours touch points with you before they actually buy from you. So what he's able to do is once he's got this owned attention, he's able to push you into his free communities, his telegram groups, and he's nurturing obviously you on his Instagram account. But where things get super, super interesting is that on these, on these free webinars that he's running, these weekly classes, I'm not too sure if they're pre-recorded or they're, um, he's doing them live. I'd probably guess that they're pre-recorded, but then he's basically selling 20 spots into his pay community. And then I don't know whether it's fake scarcity or if it's actual scarcity, but um, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. He's using a scarcity tactic within his group. So this is where he's able to get, you know, nearly do just a bit over 1000 uh, customers in his paid communities. And if you don't actually convert on his, um, 
on his sales page over here, then you then you enter a full nurture sequence where this is email follow up where he says that, you know, after he's like, oh, there's 20 more spots that have opened up. So then he's able to, you know, increase his conversion rate sort of on the back end. Now you're probably sitting there going, yeah, okay, I understand. I understand how Eddie does it, but how can I implement something like this into my business? And what are some examples? So I'm going to show you exactly how you're able to do this. So as I said, if you're an agency owner, if you're a consult, coach, consultant, or you work in the B2B space, then listen up. Now I've been listening to Will Brown quite a bit. He's a super interesting YouTuber, go check him out. But what we, he was able to do is there's a woman in Dubai that makes 70 K per month selling knitting programs for $1,000. So if you don't think you can sell anything on the internet, she's selling knitting pro who knits. I don't know one person that knits anymore. And there's another guy that's able to sell a program to CEOs to help overcome alcohol addiction. And he's doing about, you know, a hundred, a hundred K per month. Sorry, I just realized I'm on my um, laptop pad, so I can't actually draw properly on here. But <clears throat> now there's another interesting, there's an agency or a coach agency owner that is doing a very similar thing in the roofing industry. So he's able to acquire 120,000 subscribers from his YouTube channel, where he's pulling in half decent views on, but these are hyper-targeted, you know, roofing um, owner, business owners. So they, you know, you're sitting there going, yeah, okay, okay, I understand, but how am I able to do this? So what a lot of people do is that they go and they start their Instagram, their TikTok, and they start doing shorts, <clears throat> but they never actually funnel people into long form content where people gonna have the ability to binge your content on YouTube. So this is where YouTube's really handy. It's a massive sales machine. It's like, it's like having like 20 v VSLs, um, you know, across, across your website that you're able to consistently sell people on. And then you're able to finally own that attention, take them off YouTube into owned attention all the way through to a sales. But in my experience, you need to focus on one channel. Otherwise you just will not win. Um, and you want to commit not alive if you're trying to get, if you understand what I'm putting down there. So, the, the key thing here is to focus on one channel. Now, what everyone does in the industry, even Dan, uh, Dan Coe, whatever his name is, he, his 40% of his sales comes from his YouTube channel. So what you need to do is build up a YouTube channel and then start to acquire attention off of that YouTube channel into owned attention and then into sales. So exactly why I said to you guys, Hey, if you are interested in using this, or, you know, if you are interested in um, scaling with leverage, then feel free to join my free group. So I'm doing exactly what these guys are able to do. And you're able to take cold prospects that have never heard about you all the way through the sale process, pretty much to the end uh, to a sale without even having to have a conversation with these people. This is, this is the key thing. You're able to do sales at scale. This is how Iman is so successful as well. But as I said, what he does is he then basically owns our attention to a sign up form where you can see on here, he's got a sign up on his website. So it takes you from his attention that he's got on YouTube. I'm sure it'd have an Instagram and TikTok. Then he'd funnel you into his own detention and then into a group, a free group. And this is where you'd have appointment setters in the back end of here. You know, and he's got nearly a thousand, he's got nearly, um, you know, 10,000 members in his, you know, free, free private, private group. And this is where he's basically able to then further nurture these guys and then push them through getting basically rizzed up and push them through all the way through into the sales process, where he's then able to upsell, downsell, sorry, cross sell and then downsell. But there's a super interesting thing that's happening as well, where I'm teaching this currently to an accounting firm in uh, my local area. And what we're able to do now is because we are building up a community of business owners in our local area. Now, what we're then able to do is then offer other people's services to these groups. And once we get sales through the community, they're able to leverage the trust of this community 
and offer other people services and then and then pretty much have a referral fee attached to it and make 100% profit margins on this, which is super, no one's doing it. This is super, super interesting. This, this side of things, which I'm super, super passionate, we are able to make a stupid amount of money on the back end of these communities. So if you are, as I said, an agency, a coach, consultant, or B2B person, feel free to jump in my free community where I'm going to be explaining other people's systems as well as my own and how you can implement something like this into your business. So feel free to join. Appreciate you guys.